If you're using a power tool battery to modify your kids' power wheels, stick around. In this video, I'll give you the do's and don'ts. Plus, I'll show you how to install a soft brake to stop the car from drifting. If you need any help for any Power Wheels related repair or modification, you can email me at powerwheelsrepairs at gmail.com or comment below. If it's an easy fix, I can usually respond pretty quickly. If it's a little more complicated, I may charge a small fee for my time. Installing the battery and adapter to your car is pretty easy, but there's a couple things that you'll need to watch out for. One is a cheap adapter like this. Um, it was advertised as 12 gauge wire. It's only 14 gauge and it doesn't come with a fuse. So that can be a potential fire issue. Another thing to look out for, and I'll put a picture right here, is to see if your car has a control board. Um, actual Power Wheels brand Jeeps, the Peg Perigo Gators, those brands typically do not have a control board. So you should be good if you're going up to 18, uh, 20 volts. If it's an off brand car, and it has a control board, you'll need to replace it with a 24 volt control board. And I'll put a link to that in the description as well. You may lose some lights and sounds though if you go up to 18 or 20 volts. Once you have your battery adapter that has the correct fuse or breaker, now you can connect it to your car. There's a few options to do it. The easiest to use some scissors or wire cutters and just cut off this connection piece for the old battery. Um, and you'll use these wire levers connectors and just make the connection between the, the battery's negative lead, the car's negative, and then the battery's positive to the car's positive. Pretty straightforward. If you don't want to cut off this car's connection piece, you can take your old battery, you can pry it off, and then you can save it and then make the leads onto this. I have another video showing how to do that. Maybe I'll put the link right there somewhere. You'll see it. If installing the battery adapter were that easy, well then this video would probably be over. Except most power tool batteries don't have a low voltage protection built into the battery. It's built into the power tool. So I've done a couple videos in the past where I've used this low voltage cutoff board in a relay to be my low voltage protection. Except I found that it has one fatal flaw when you disconnect the battery, you have to reset the voltage cutoff on the board. And if you're relying on your kid to do that, there's no chance you're going to ruin your expensive battery. So I made a kit that I'm going to start selling on Amazon. That's a digital voltage display that will go on the dashboard and the child and parent will be able to monitor the voltage so that they can swap out the battery whenever it gets too low, which on an 18 or 20 volt battery is around 16 or 15 and a half volts uh, on resting voltage. So let's go ahead. I'm going to walk you guys step by step on how to install my kit. Before we get started on installation, the only thing that you'll need are some wire cutters or scissors, wire crimping tool, power drill, and the kit even comes with this whole uh, drill bit. The first thing we need to figure out is where we want to put our voltage display meter and our on off switch. And for the Jeep, there's two great spots. I think this is great for the on-off switch. And this is great for the voltage meter. So let's use our the hole saw that comes with the kit and we're gonna make our holes. The kit comes with this holder for the on-off switch. And now we're just gonna install the holder. We're gonna take off this fastener. Let's get it installed. We're going to use the lever connectors to connect the battery adapter and the wires from the kit. The lever connectors other hole is to connect to the car's wires, black to black and white to red. So let's go ahead and um, run these wires up to the on off switch. And there's a great little uh, spot right here on the hood. I'm just going to run it down. Pull it up on the other side. 
run the wires to the appropriate hole and then leave some slack of at least four inches and then cut off the excess wire as you'll be using it shortly. The red wire will have the normal spade connector and will run to the on off switch, while the black wire will have the piggyback connector and run to the LED display meter. You can pause the video to view the wiring diagram. And while you have the video paused, take a moment to like the video and leave a comment if this video has been helpful. We are going to cut the wire approximately 14 inches and then crimp the spade connections to the wire. Remember that the spade connectors going to the on-off switch will be the smaller connectors, and then the spade connectors used going to the LED display meter will be the larger connectors. Before you start to wire up the connections, make sure the battery is unplugged. You can start by connecting the wires between the piggyback connector on the LED display meter and the negative input on the on-off switch. Next, connect the positive leads from the LED display meter to the load or power out pin on the on-off switch. And now you can test to make sure it works. Now it's time to use this resistor as a soft brake so that when the child stops, the car doesn't go into a drift, which then creates holes in the tires and ruins them. So I'll walk you through this process. First, get a flathead screwdriver. We're going to pry the uh, tabs on the foot pedal. Next step is to pull this up. Pry it as well. So that comes out. We're left with three wires that run from the pedal. We have a black, a red, and an orange. The orange is the one that we need to cut and splice in the resistor. best place to put this resistor is right here in the footwell in a place it's where it's a little some plastic uh, stoppers right here so this is where we want it we're gonna wire in we're gonna splice into this line right here and then we'll probably take right above this white piece of tape and then tie it in there we'll give it a little play um, but it'll be the best spot to put that resistor to slow down the car when the kid slams on the brakes you can see that I use the one in one out lever connector and some extra red wire from the kit to give a little more length to the orange wire that runs from the foot pedal to our resistor so that it can rest better in the footwell. This is optional and it depends on how much space you have available. You'll make the connection with the small spade connectors on both sides of the resistor and then you're done. The kit also comes with two heat sinks. You'll put these on the motor to help them last longer. You can find the link to my Amazon kit in the description of this video. If this video was helpful, please leave a comment letting me know. If you have any questions, you can email me or you can leave a comment below.